Hello everybody. Today we are back and we are playing more Apple of Justice. I don't know why I say it like that, but I do. <laughs> I just woke up earlier, so yes I woke up at twelve already, so what? Um, So if I sound tired, that's it. And today we'll be starting episode two, Turn Round Corner. Don't quite understand why it's called this, but okay. They see me rolling. <laughs> as long as we draw breath, the wheel of faith turns. Getting big crimes and little crimes together. When the wheel stops. You die. What a way to start off. Okay. So if you remember last time we incriminated Christoph Gavin. And now we're looking for somewhere else to work. Because he was the boss. Two months have passed since Mr. Gavin's arrest. My first trial. And I lost both my mentor and my job. Yeah, I'll admit it. I was... I'm not going to say that. I know it's not a bad word, but I don't want to say that on YouTube. I don't know why. I just don't. <laughs> well, even when I'd hit bottom, I told myself I'd never come here. Honest. And here we are. Here being the legendary Wright and Co. Law Offices. Okay, Justice. Time to stop trembling. Ah, you must be here for the interview. Interview, right this way. Huh? Hello there. You found the right place. Welcome. Very funny. Uh, uh, what's with this girl? Well now, shall we begin? Begin what? Right. First things first. Any special talents? No. Um, talents? Yes, well, must have at least one. Well, uh, I guess, defending? Defending. An unusual talent, but it'll do. With a little jazzing up, of course. Y you think so? Let's give it a go, shall we? Huh? Go ahead, show me, defend. Give it all you've got. Don't hold back now. Well, what are you talking about? I can't just defend here. First lesson, a professional can form anywhere. Thanks. Won't people be laughing with us? Not at us. Dang. But I'm not sure why they should be laughing at all. What? What exactly do you think you came here to do? What? Um, defend, no? Excuse me, but do you know where you are? Huh? The right and law offices, right? Oh. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, you're not the first. Look, what's going on here? Who are you? Came here to meet with the person in charge. Well, you've apparently made no fewer than two mistakes. They I got a call from Mr. Wright this morning. I think you should go read the sign up front again. I should read. Look, it says right there. Oh. Why does it say right talent agency? Welcome to the right talent agency. Well, you've always come to the right place. I'm Chief C. Wright, CEO. I'm a magician. Here, all came floating back. The trial. That girl. Hello, sir. Please pick a card. Right, she's my daughter. Trucy. Right. Here, check out a flyer. So, what's your name? Apollo. Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Okay, so now we're outside court. We have four options here. We can talk or we can have a little chat with Trucy. We can examine so we can like look around with like the background here. 
So you can see we can just whirl around this little cursor and just look at stuff. You have to move where you can just nice go places. Wait, it doesn't let us do that right now. And then just present what we're gonna show or some evidence. Like, here's my attorney's badge. Oh, I've seen one of those before. That's an attorney's badge. It looks just like the one daddy used to have. If I take this badge and do this and that, see, it's gone. Hey, my badge, what'd you do with my badge? Hey, you worry, look in your pocket. Huh? No way, my pocket? Wait a second, there's something in there. It's a flyer for your agency. Here's your badge, you can have it back now. That's how I let her touch anything of mine, period. Okay, let's talk about the right talent agency. So, is this really a talent agency? You bet. Daddy started it seven years ago when he quit law. Of course, we only have two people signed up right now. Two people, does that include you? Choose your right, magician extraordinaire. I've done a lot of stage shows, paid too. I am a professional, you know? Ugh. Right. I promise you'll come to one of my shows, okay? Let's see. Oh, and the other person our agency represents is Phoenix Wright, pianist extraordinaire. Your dad, in other words. Didn't he say he can play the piano? Our, our agency doesn't see that as a problem. Why, there are many magicians, magicians who can't do magic. At least you're optimistic, I'll give you that. Juicy right. So you're his, or uh, you're Phoenix Wright's daughter. That's right. After daddy quit law seven years ago, I promise I would keep him fed. I'm kind of a sugar daddy, get it? No. I'm in charge of this whole office, too. Pretty amazing for a young lass of 15, wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? 15? Uh, how old is Mr. Wright? Daddy? Oh, he's 33 this year. Sure, there's a good explanation. I hope. Um, about Mr. Wright giving up law. It was because that incident seven years ago, wasn't it? No, you absolute moron. He just kind of quit, you know? Eh? You know about that? Not the details. Remember the news, though? It was a big deal. So I hear. I was too young to understand what was going on. I'll ask Daddy about it next time I get a chance. Daddy, right. That reminds me. About Mr. Wright. He gave me a call this morning to come in. Daddy's not here right now. He's in the hospital. The hospital? Yeah. He's on strict bed rest until he gets better. What? He, Cause he's dying. He's literally, he's dead by now, you know? <laughs> he got the virus. Okay, he'll stop. Okay. Which hospital is Mr. Wright in? I'll pay him a visit. Oh, the Hickfield Clinic. It's quite close. Right, well, I'll be going now. And I'll uh, give this showbiz gig some thought, okay? Wait, I'll go with you. So, this is Mr. Wright's hospital. Eh? Visitors, are you? Uh, yeah, are you the doctor? Yup, Dr. Hickfield. name is he. Good morning, doctor. Oh, hiya there, Trucy. Cute as ever. <laughs> is this Daddy's room? Oh yeah, so he's gone for a morning checkup. Be back soon. How are you, Miss Trucy? Got any places you'd like examine? Yeah. Doctor, the nurse was looking for you. Why, if it isn't the Daddy or the cutest little thing in town? Mm. Mm. Guess I'll be off then. <laughs> Later, Trucy. Wow, what an odd bird that guy was. Good morning. Didn't expect to see you. Didn't expect to see you, Apollo. Mr. Wright. Okay, so let's talk to Wright. So, what happened? Who could have imagined it? Me, victim of a hit and run. Hit and, you were hit by a car? Oh, he tried to swerve, I'll give him that. Making me toss 30 feet through the air. Only stopping when my head hit that telephone pole. You, 
You hit a telephone pole with your head? Are you okay? Thankfully, my only injury was a sprained ankle. He really is, he really is as lucky as he says. <laughs> I'm surprised he ain't dead, honestly. There's something that, well, it just doesn't sit right. I just can't believe you have a daughter, Miss Wright, and she's so big, not fat, but uh, you know what I mean. Oh, Trucy's still a child. Daddy, how many times do I have to remind you? I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> but you'll always be daddy's little baby girl to me, Trucy. <laughs> My foot, I'm not buying it. I don't get it. Oh, nothing you should know about Trucy. She, she's a magician, right? She told me. Not a mere stage magician. She's a genius. <laughs> Aw, daddy. You'll soon come to appreciate her talent. You could just tell me things instead of it and see what you know. So, why did you contact me? What could the right talent agency possibly want with me? No need to get prickly now. Hey, I didn't ask to be dragged in like this, huh? But didn't you come into the office of your own free will anyway? Yeah, of course. Well, we're in big trouble here at the office. Big. The pastor when it was dying. So you don't think it's big trouble? My talent agency represents only two people. And one of them is in the hospital. That's right, Daddy. How, how are we going to pay this month's rent? And the groceries? Yeah, that's the problem with such a tight operation. It's a symbolic re relationship. When one of us falls, the other team as well. Hey, this is exactly a suitable conversation to be having with a 15 year old kid. In any case, Father here can't help you. I have to transfer to a new school again. No, I can't. I only just made friends. How did you do this to me? To us, Polly. Huh? What? Now it's my fault? Apparently. That note. On that note, how about you come work for us? I've got the perfect client for you already lined up. Uh, a client? I get to do my job, I get to defend in court? Alright, I'll hear what you have to say. You come, Daddy. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> That's how I'm real men. It's official. I'm scared. Alright, so who's the client? Ah uh, yes, here. Take a look at the map and I'll explain. Last night, I left the office just before 9 o'clock. I was going to Indochin Pass joint. Al Dente's. Play piano there, of course. That's when it happened. The car sent me flying, nicked the telephone pole, and zoomed away. Creepy, huh? Just a tad. It's almost as creepy as hearing you tell a story like it was no big deal. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty big deal. The car spun off in this direction. Huh? You wanted a client, didn't you? Well, I'm your client. Find the guy who knocked me into that telephone pole. Whoa, hold on. I'm a defense attorney, I'm a detective. Don't worry, once you found the guy, I, I intend to sue him. Then you can stick to him in court. I'm not a prosecutor either. Sorry, but this is crazy. I'm going home. Don't get so worked up. It was just a joke. Huh? Oh, Daddy. Sorry, Apollo. He just loves jokes, you know? Even though they aren't very funny. Your real kind client should be stopping by the office at any time. The office? You mean talent agency? Where am I going? It's not like I have anything else to do. One more thing. Do look into my accent too. I like this scene of a tragedy on this map. Do I even have access to that map? Nope. Drive in front of this park should be easy to find. So he's going to make me investigate this after all. Okay, now I do. Okay, so. Let's move. And we'll go to the right talent agency. I don't know what kind of voice to give the guy coming up. How long you? No. One sec. How long are you planning on making me wait, eh? Yeah, good morning. Hey there, Trucy doll. Sounds like your pops had a bit of a rough spot, eh? All is well ends well, I guess. This is our client? 
Hey, so this is that Apollo fellow, eh? Uh, yes. Name's Apollo. Look at him. Look at him there. Look at him there. Arms all crossed like ready to fight. Yes, sir. You don't you're not really a thief. The boss told you what I need, need, right? Don't let me down, Apollo. Don't worry about your pen. Sir, I'm on. Oh, um, I accidentally skipped a few lines. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God, this recording is falling apart. Need a laugh cup. Too late for the pen. My castle has been stolen. My keep's been kept. My noodle stand's been stolen. Not the noodles! <sighs> noodle? Oh, right. Um. I wanted to explain the pun in Christoph Gavin's name, but I never got the chance to explain it. From what I know, Gavin means like victory or success. And Kristoff is like some religious name or something. Which I guess is kind of ironic. I don't understand it too well, but that's kind of what I make of it. You know Mr. Aldin from the New Sand, don't you, Polly? No name, please. No, of course I don't know him. You in these parts? Not really. And you know our best noodles in town, Aldin's noodles. Uh, whose noodles? My noodles. My noodles. Uh, help me out here, Trucy doll. This is Mr. Guy Aldoon. Our, our client. Maybe you can tell us what's problem is, Mr. Aldoon. Anything for you, Trucy doll? Okay, so, puns. Let's go through here. Hickfield? I actually don't know. Guy Eldoon. Eldoon, if you look at it in reverse, it's Noodle. So his name is like Noodle Guy. Who is this hoser? So you're on a noodle stand, Mr. Eldoon. Guy Eldoon is the name. Noodles are my game. Secrets in the soup. I've been searching for the perfect soup for a year and a half. Oh, that's not long, really. Family's been noodle around for generations. Got a lot of expectation on my shoulders. Then father's passing a noodle to 15 sons. That's a lot of noodles. That's a pretty old noodle. I, I, I'm full that I was, I pushed it away. I rebelled against my paw. I picked up, I picked another livelihood. That didn't turn out so well. Oh, no it's not. Yet. Salty broth runs through his veins, boy. Boy. It was like destiny that you became what you are. Right, destiny, sword. Oh, I fought it. But in the end, I was bound by the twist and the rule of fate. Not a mental image I care Not a mental image I care to linger on. So last year, I started my noodle stamp. First generation of, of Eldoon's noodles. Um, tell me more about Eldoon's noodles. You don't know a genius that are my noodles? Things so salty? Why they're saltier than salt? No, I really don't want to find out. That is a regular at this at noodle stand. He frequent he, he frequented my pop stand back during his attorney days too. Yep, him and his assistant. Maya. Unfortunately Maya's not in this game. Sad life. Also, didn't Maya like burgers? I'm sorry, but I'll be sure to drop by your stand soon. Wish you could, Sonny. Eh? Heck, I wish I could. I'd give anything for a bowl by about now. What do you mean? It was stolen! My stand! Gone! <gasps> Not the noodle! <laughs> stolen? It was last night. I was doing my rounds, blow my whistle. When I was stabbed in the neck. <laughs> oh god. I feel like I'm not like, making enough dumb jokes. Like an ice cream truck's bell, but louder. He even gets to complain. <laughs> now you're just trying to butter me up. I sound more like the blues than a whistle. Close up my stand for a night and park, and park by the house. Then, this morning, dark and early. It was gone. My keep. 
My castle. Oh. Sorry, but this music is very good. No, he's dead. Maybe some bum cut it up. Just guessing here. Well, I don't care who did it. Without that stand, I'm finished. All my noodle bowls went there too. I just fell in every all day. You know what? Anyhow, that's the deal. Good luck. Good, huh? Wait. What well, exactly is your request? My noodle stand. Find it. The day you bring my baby back is the day. Is the day you feast on. On as many noodles as you want. Of course, I make it so hot and salty. Two bowls would kill a man. Then I'd really need defense. Speaking of defense, that's what I do. I'm a lawyer, not a detective. This is what I do. Drop by if you need any info, okay? Get back today if you can, Paolo. I've got noodles to make. Things have certainly taken a turn for bizarre. Traffic accidents and news down thieves. Um, actually, there's something I want to ask you about too, Apollo. Huh? I'm back in the office. Ah, uh, listen to the lady's problem now. Don't be cruel. That's not even that's not. I something was stolen. Hey, what's this? More thieving and skullduggery? Um, someone stole a pair of my panties. Juicy is like Latin for panties, I think. So there's a pun there. But there's another one which I can't quite say. Panties. So I don't know if the song played yet, but um, this is Juicy's theme, and it's very good. Um, so they were um stolen. Your my panties, yes. Uh. Right, panties. That's a crying shame, that. That is Chrissy doll. I was alone in the office last night. I'd hung my panties out the window there to dry. Yeah. Thief came and took them. My favorite panties. I ran after him. Give those back, I shouted. Wait! Well, that was certainly brave of you. But I lost him. That's panty. I don't know what I'll do. Darn crime chain, yep. Well, at least seeing a crime is convenient. I'll mark it on your map. I'll be heading home now. Remember, find my son. There's an empty bowl in your future, Apollo. Alright. And you help out your stall here, too, you hear? Things certainly picked up, haven't they? We had no work yesterday, now we have three cases. Uh, I guess. Let's see where we stand. Oh, in a courtroom, that's where. Well, first time on our list. He's right, daddy's hit and run instant. Let's find the one who hit him. You go to the first place again? Second item. It's Eldon's quest to find a stolen son. Which we stand to gain a bowl of stalky noodles. Last quest is mine. Finally, to find my stolen panties. The bowl of noodles is looking better and better. Let's go, Polly, to the street. Aren't you enthusiastic? How can I not be? Let's crack these cases, you and me. Guess we might as well get started. Let's see, hitting on a stolen stand. Last but not least, stolen panties. Okay, so let's head to either the accident scene or the scene of stand theft. Let's go to the accident scene first. And here we are. This is where Mr. I got hit by that car. According to the map, this is the place. Oh, a huge mansion. This is like Chinatown. Oh, there's a nice looking lady over there. Question her. Um, okay. A little curious about the park over there, too. Hey, 
excuse me. Um, can we have a few words with you? You want something? Okay. I don't know what to get for either. Oh, that husky voice. Why am I so only sweating? It's quite a house you've got there. You must make took a lot of money. Whoa. Money. Sounds like something my son would call his friend. <coughs> this is the Kataki family mansion, little girl. Huh? You, kid with the hair. Want some? Uh, m m me? No, not a thing. Bye. Pa, we can't leave without questioning her. Huh? Well, she knows something. But, but, the Kataki family. Their biggest organized crime syndicate in the town. If you're going to ask something, ask it. If you're minding it. Oh, right. Yay, yeah, wait a weapon in the shape, ma'am. Does she know no fear? I'm Plum. Plum Kataki. Wife of the fourth head of Kataki family business. Friends call me Little Plum. Uh, I'm Little Apollo Justice, attorney at law. Mm. Looks could kill this one will be a mass murderer by now. Okay, so let's have a friendly chat here. The Katakis. I actually don't remember Plum's either. Pun and Plum's name. Hang on a moment. Okay, so I just checked, and apparently Plum means tree, or Plum, or Kataki means tree, so technically it's Plum Tree. Well, Plum, that's a really cute name for someone, so, yes. Oh, whoa. Hi, that, Apollo. How about you go through me when talk? How about you go through me when you're talking to her? Okay, you see? Huh? That seems like a needless procedure. I'm a lawyer. I like some needless procedures. I have a little girl. No, we're gangsters. Gangs. Oh, that means you're the bad guys. Trucy, through me. Please, I'm begging you here. <laughs> the bad guys. I like the sound of that. I'm going to need to warm tea after this. It takes a lot of hard work to protect family fortune. Things aren't as easy as they used to be for us bad guys. So, you're saying that business is a slump? Let's not ask about business if we can help it, please. There was a car accident here last night. Last night. Of course you wouldn't know about it. Sorry to bother you. Wait. Yes? You're talking about that man, aren't you? The one who flew 30 feet and just walked away? That's my daddy. Ha <laughs> ha! I should have known. One of our one of our capos thought he'd make a great point, man. Capo? Point, man? Um, could you avoid using too much, uh, industry lingo? In any case, it's been nothing but trouble. I've been cleaning up this mess since morning. Bah. Cleaning up this paint? This paint spilled at the time of the accident. It was around nine last night. I heard a crashing noise. And found your father drowning in a sea of paint. So he came to his rescue. Leave my husband, the boss, tank for that. I hate your father knocked over his, his paint. Then turned the corner and sped away. In the middle of repainting our wall, you see? Dark blackness glaring at me. Why are you coming out here? What do you mean? I mean, aren't you a gangster? Don't you have any goons to you don't have to Please! Go through me when you want to. <laughs> don't be such a stiff lawyer, boy. I suppose we gangsters do have a certain image. Um, yes. We are on the gangsters, you see? The boss likes to give back to the people, see? Who oh, noble of him. I built myself with the public facility scared of all the garbage. Now there's just a paint on the street to deal with. Public facilities? I wonder if she means that trash can. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is if we do examine, I can do this even without clicking examine. Actually, no, you literally can do it while clicking examine. On this side, there's an arrow on the right. We click this, it takes it over to the right side. Who's that? She's looking at the park. She's pretty. I bet she has a story, you know? Something about her. Too bad she seems to be in a bit of a rush. And now we just go about our day. The trash can on the way to the park. I guess we need to check it out. Detective's life sure is a hard one. I'm an attorney, actually. Uh huh. Mm, two pieces of garbage you paint on them. These are slippers. 
look like those slippers you get at the hospital. Look at this, Paolo. Doesn't he just go in a car? It's a side beam more. Looks like it was torn up when it's smacking in something or someone. But you don't think. I do. This could be from the car that hit Mr. Wright. Wow, and he took off at you. I have room in my pocket for one of these, though. Which do you want to take? Let's just take the mirror. Because we'll need it. We don't need slippers right now. Okay, so it looks like this place is off mil limits or something. No more in this part. You know, I think I better find the movie. Go take a look. Maybe we'll see something, something famous. Hey, miss, stay out of the park. Pick up my Um, does something happen here often? Huh? Oh, no. Move along, nothing to see. How do kids go play somewhere else? We're not kids and we're not playing. I'm an attorney. Something wrong? Ah, Detective Sky. We're fine, ma'am. Nothing to report. Detective. Why is he wearing a lab coat? They hardly want to come up with how people are dressed. And these kids are? Curiosity yeah. seekers, man. Thank you, Lord. Uh, why don't you kids run along and play some place else? Look, we're not. Or I might, or I might spill something on that pretty face of yours. Want a dose of extra hydrozal? <clears throat> Hydro. Hydrozacalunodostris. Hydrozeace Luna Dostris. Come again? It's Hydrozy stuff. Whatever it is, those sound good. Let's go, Trinity. Try to keep out the riffraff, if you would. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how are we going to get more information like this? Can we ask that nice woman across the street? Yes, that nice woman. Cool. Question. What? What happened in the park across the street? Oh yes, quite the commotion. Chicago Lightning, as the boss would say. Chicago, huh? Gunfire. Someone was killed. Strange circumstances. Too. You're kidding. What a morning. Trouble everywhere. The park, the gate, even our house. Something happened at your house too? Crime without honor, without remorse. It's a private matter. Want to hear about it? Well, how I don't think those next stuff could last here, Polly. So, I have not at your house. Bloomers, last night. Eh? Uh, not bad feeling about this. Me, little plum talking, the victim of a pantry snatcher. What? So it wasn't just my pantry was stolen? Got you too, did they? Poor thing. Like I said, whoever did this is a hard thing. It wasn't you, was it? No, of course not. Mercy. Heard, heard words that panties have been have been disappearing lately. And the missing panties all have something in common. It's hard to imagine Trucy's and Miss Kotaki's panties having much in common. Just imagine Miss Miss Kotaki's panties. I know I'll find your bloomers too. Great, show me what you're made of. What have you gone me into this time, Trucy? Oh, welcome home, Tweety. Huh, uh, hello, mother. She's a Kotaki too? Um, um, miss, miss. Hmm? Here. Alright, here's our flyer. Duh. Right, anything agency? Uh, anything agency? Yeah, do you like your new flyer? So, um, this is our defense attorney, Apollo Justice. Attorney? Stop by our office, we'll be waiting. Ah, goodbye. Why'd you give her a flyer? I don't know. Seems like she could use some help. She's the Harris to the gangster, and she, she doesn't need her help. I wouldn't be so sure. Hmm? Okay, so we're approaching 35 minutes here. So, um, I might end it soon. We'll see. I still want to go here for just a little bit. So, what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldon's house, silly. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. I see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. Hey! 
Look, there's a police car parked over there. You're right. Fine. Mark this clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. The thief? Where he snatched my panties. He ran into his coin flat. Right? Wait, maybe the police car is here to find my panties. I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Ah, there you are, Sonny. Well, you find anything yet? Um, no, not yet. Don't get left around here. Don't tear your victory bowl, guys. Just remember that. This bowl of noodles sounded less like payment and more like punishment. Okay, so we'll start talking to him next time because we've gotten 35 minutes and that's usually where I stop these videos. So, thanks for watching unless you skip to the very end see what kind of outro I do for some reason. So, yeah. I'll see you if you ever watch my videos again.